Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies. With the angelic hearts proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. All right, huge movie fanatic Nate reporting, or in this case, huge punk rock fanatic Nate reporting for another the second Bad Religion album review of 2013. This is quite an amazing year for Bad Religion. I can't remember a single year where they put out two albums in one year. That's pretty goddamn cool. So I'm here to review, briefly review, Bad Religion's Christmas Songs, which pretty much came out late October, early November. I can't remember the day. But obviously I got it because uh, my favorite band is Bad Religion. And uh, now they have been playing so Christmas songs obviously for ages and there's even some recordings of Christmas songs where they do like, um, God rest you, Jerry, mental men, you know, they'll change up, you know, the words and all this kind of stuff and they've been, you know, threatening to do one of these for years, you know. And it's very cool that they did. Um, there's really no stars for it. I'm just going to say that it's basically pretty cool. It leaves you wanting more. And to be honest, stuff like Little Drummer Boy and White Christmas, I could replace with some other things that would have been maybe a little better, like Silent Night and stuff like that. Um, basically, at the end of the day, it's only nine tracks, and uh, only eight of them are the like Christmas songs, and then it ends with their version of a Christmas song, which is, of course, a remix of uh, American Jesus. But um, that's, the same, that's the name of the song, right? I think it is. So there's only eight newly recorded, like, you know, Christmas, uh, classic Christmas songs, and that's my only qualm. I mean, they could have, you know, it would have been nice if they would have actually done more and made like a if they would have made this like a 17 track album or something like that, it'd be freaking amazing. But the things, you know, I only really listened to uh, just the first, or just the 8 track, which is only like 15 minutes long. But um, I'll probably put some of the highlights on this video because I don't think copyright's going to be a problem. Um, because it, it hasn't been for the True North. I also reviewed, kind of, or I just made a shout out slash review of True North earlier this year, album reviews, so... Yes! stuff on here and it, it's just so cool to actually uh, the the ironicness of uh, you know bad religion actually recording these songs without changing the lyrics is great and I don't know there's really not a lot to say I'm probably gonna put some highlights some of the songs that I thought turned out best my biggest qualm with it um, I'm not gonna give any stars or anything like that I'm just gonna say hell yeah frick yeah this is great stuff Bi my biggest qualm with is too short and it would have been nice if it could have been like 14, 13, well, I don't know why I went from higher to lower, but whatever, 14 tr new, you know, completely new tracks instead of just 8, or even, you know, 17, like, you know, like True North track tracks, or whatever. I don't know if that's 17 or more, but whatever. You get the point. What child is this who laid to rest on me? Shepherds watch our keeping. This, this is Christ the King, whom shepherds guard and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him life, the big the son of Mary. So the biggest qualm with it, and also the co I don't really like the cover too terribly much, and, and, and I would have called it just a bad religion Christmas instead of bad religion Christmas song. Christmas songs is just so boring. And I would have totally had it be, and my artwork, by the way, sorry, would have, been, first of all, I would have called it a Bad Religion Christmas, which I think is so much cooler. And it would have just been like black, the cover, and then like like a green A in cursive in the cent, top center. Bad Religion, just Bad Religion logo font red underneath Christmas green in cursive. Oh.
would have been beautiful. So, A Bad Religion Christmas, that's what I kind of call the album, but it's not a really big deal. But Christmas Songs is kind of a boring title. And the cover, I, like I said, I don't really like, really like. But there's some rockin' ass tracks on here which are too short. <laughs> and you just like, I kind you know, I've, I've been listening to it on repeat. But it's very cool to actually have like an official Christmas Songs album. Like I say, the, you know, hopefully they do another one like next year or something with more songs, that would be very cool. You know, so that way you can like add, you know, over the years accumulate, you know, Bad Religion version of Christmas songs, because there's a lot more that, you know, that should be on here that you'd like to have. But anyway, thumbs up, frick yeah, for a Bad, er, see I was going to call it my title, Bad Religion Christmas songs. I still can't get over, over the fact they put out two records in one year, that's very cool. So anyway, until the next one comes out, which hopefully will happen sometime, thanks for watching.